Good morning, y'all. Happy Friday. Uh, I just did a workout. I have a fake tan on that I need to wash off. Um, so today on tap, we're going to Bella Rose to shoot. Well, we're going to a location to shoot. I'm pretty sure it's swim because of the things they asked me to bring. Um, so I'm going to go get ready. We're going to head to Bella Rose. I don't know how much I can shoot because it's a location shoot. Those are a little bit more hectic than traditional just shooting at their warehouse their studios i tried to not sweat too much because like i said i have a fake tan on but it's not like i put it on last night Ooh. so it's it's chances are it's already soaked seeped soaked into my skin um so okay i'm gonna go shower next time i see you i'll be ready for the shoot today <laughs> And just like that, we're done. So I will put lipstick on, finger comb my hair a little bit better, all that stuff once I get there. Y'all, I'm getting pretty good at the lashes. This is the first time I'm going to wear them and drive somewhere. Uh, Y'all saw in last week's vlog, I just put them on when I got to Chic Soul. I don't know if they're for me. I'll be honest. I don't know if I want to do this all the time, but for the time being, I think it works. Also, here's a look at my outfit. I forgot I bought these shorts from Cotton Bay when I did the shoot with them last. They're just like these linen shorts. So cute. T-shirt is from Aerie. And then these are from Walmart. Time and True is the brand. I bought them years ago and never wore them because I was like, they're not super comfortable. I didn't love the style. And then I just started wearing them again or wearing them at all and they're the most comfortable shoes fake tan is saint moritz m-o-r-i-z here we go I brought some cover-ups, which they asked me to bring, but I also brought these shorts. So I got these from Bella Rose a while back. I haven't worn them yet, but I figured they could be a cute little accessory if I needed something like over a one-piece swimsuit or something would be really cute. Oh, guess what? I need gas. I should have went out yesterday and got it, but listen, what, what lie do we all tell ourselves? I'll get gas in the morning. So now I have to stop and get gas. So I've been listening to, well, on the way to and from Chic Soul, Dateline NBC. I'm new to this, okay? But you may know this. They have a podcast where you can listen to like crime stories and stuff. So I listened to that. So I may do that. But also I was watching a TikTok and this guy said that the public library system, as long as you're a member, you can access all of their digital files i guess like books on tape all absolutely free so i have a library card and i set it up so that i can listen to all i mean there's thousands and it's free 100 percent free so i don't know if you like check it out or if you just listen i'm not really sure how that works but i think i'm gonna maybe listen to something from the library it's free i i didn't know this i can't believe i didn't know this but yeah, I just signed in through our like Mobile Public Library. In case you didn't know, and you want to listen to something for free, and you don't want to pay for a subscription, there you go. And just like that, we are done. It is so hot. I'm surprised I still have lashes on my face. Sorry if you can hear the AC. I can't not do the AC right now. We shot outside. We There's a gorgeous pool out back overlooking a lake. I'm assuming that's what it is. I don't really know where I am, but it was gorgeous out there. Oh my gosh, I can't wait for y'all to see this stuff. There was this red swimsuit. This is how it happens. I say this every time, but this is how I end up buying everything. Um, that red swimsuit, there were some really great- Obey traffic laws. There was some really great tops. Oh man. All right, so it's not too late. I'm gonna head home and that's my plan.
Good morning, y'all. Happy Saturday. So I'm working out this morning. Obviously, you saw me just set everything up. So last night, Brian and I went to briquettes for dinner and then came home and just did some work like in the backyard. So you didn't see any, you didn't miss anything fun. Uh, so today I'm working out. I have a couple videos I wanna film. I do wanna run to the grocery store because Carly, my trainer sent me this recipe for chicken using everything but the bagel seasoning. I'll put the video here while I'm talking, but I'll also link it down below in case you wanna watch. Um, you put them on the grill, like outside grill, but it takes like an hour and 45 minutes. So I haven't decided if I wanna do it that way or maybe try to do them a different way inside. I haven't decided yet. Um, but there's a couple other things I need to pick up from the store as well. So I'm gonna work out, do my videos, and then we'll go to the grocery store. Y'all, it's almost six o'clock. I've just been working all day. I did go to the grocery store, but I did grocery pickup, so I didn't get out. I was just busy. I've just been busy today, but we're gonna cook dinner together. So once again, I know you just saw it. For me, that was like 10 hours ago. We're doing the everything but the bagel chicken. So I had to get the seasoning from the store. Let me show you. I got the McCormick one, all purpose seasoning, everything bagel with sesame seed, onion, garlic, salt. I don't know why I'm like reading it to you. Um, so I've never actually tried just the seasoning. Obviously I eat everything bagels, we know this, but so I bought this. Um, we're gonna do chicken breasts instead of chicken thighs, how they, do, how they do in the recipe. And we're not gonna use that much butter. So, oh, also we're not gonna cook it on the grill. So really we're just taking the concept and making it our own. So Carly said that her and her boyfriend cooked it in the oven at 405 for 45 minutes. I haven't heard from Brian yet uh, as far as what time he's getting off. He's supposed to get off at six, but I feel like I should go ahead and start because it's in there for 45 minutes. I'm also gonna chop these up and make some roasted potatoes and then we shall do a veggie. Like I said, oh, he just texted me, hang on. He said a little after six, so I'm gonna go ahead and do it anyways. Um, I did grocery pickup. I did Rouse's for the waters. <laughs> I'll just show you what my pantry looks like, but they didn't have the seasoning, so I also did a Publix order and then got the chicken from Publix because we like Publix chicken, so I haven't looked at the chicken they gave me yet. Those are very large chicken breasts. All right, let's do it. Here's what my pantry looks like. They had the waters at Rouse's. Also, our little wristbands came in for Disney. So I picked this mint green color. Obviously, you can see our names on it. Um, I don't really know how these work yet. I need to look it up. Um, but we ordered these and I'm excited. So in the recipe, they he says seasoned salt. I don't really know what that's supposed to mean. Um, I thought he talked about Creole seasoning, but he didn't. So I'm just gonna use we really like this Chicago steak seasoning. Like it goes on everything, it's super good. Do a little bit of olive oil. Well, oh, that was a that was a lot of it. And then we're gonna do just a little bit of this Chicago seasoning because I feel like the star player is obviously the everything but the bagel seasoning. So let's do this side. Oh, okay. I feel like he probably did a lot. I couldn't really, could I see and I just don't remember. We're gonna put quite a bit on here. What are you doing over there? Okay, I'm actually gonna put this. Our air fryer is also an oven, like it does all sorts of things. So I'm gonna put the chicken in there to cook it. 405 for 45 minutes so that I can save the oven for my potatoes. All right, there we go. All right, let's clean this off so we can do potatoes. I just realized that we didn't use butter at all in the chicken, but we did use oil. So I think it'll be fine. I'm gonna use some of this butter in my potato mix. I'm gonna use a little bit of oil. 
I'm gonna use the same Chicago steak seasoning because again, it's amazing. And then we're gonna bake those. You know what? Actually, I don't think we need the oil with all that butter in there. This seasoning, just trust me, if you've never tried it and you need something, consider that one. There's another one too that's good. It's like a hamburger seasoning and we use it on so much stuff. So I'm gonna cook these at 375. It looks like the chicken has 34 minutes left. I'm just gonna let them cook until the chicken's done. It is 617, yeah, 617 now. I'll see you when dinner's done. And here we go, it's done. I just cut it to make sure that it was done. I haven't tasted it yet. My potatoes are all done and then I have some veggies going in a steamer bag. I haven't heard from Brian again, but I'm starving. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat my dinner. Tomorrow is a chill day for us. Um, I wanna sleep in. I haven't slept in in at least a week. Um, so I wanna sleep in and then maybe we'll just hang out by the pool or something. Good morning, y'all. Happy Tuesday. It is, let's see. I'll tell you what time it is, 9.37 in the morning. So I did my workout. It was hard. Did I tell y'all last week we upped the dumbbell weights and then today we upped the kettlebell weight? But I did it, so that's all that matters. Um, so I'm making me some breakfast. I have a couple of videos that I wanna film today. Um, what else? Also, oh, so yesterday, Brian and I were invited to Atlanta Bread Company here in town to try their new spring menu. Um, so I did a fun little Instagram post because they're going to do a giveaway for my Instagram followers. So I'll put the picture here. That way, if you wanna enter the $50 gift card, all that information is there. I thought it was super nice. We got, like I got a Mediterranean salad. He had a Tex-Mex bowl. We tried some pastries, a watermelon tea. So, it's the first time that we've ever done anything like that, like a food type post or giveaway, you know, um, but it's food. So we had a great time. Um, and like I said, they're hosting a giveaway on my Instagram. So that should be fun. We also put our new sink faucet in. Just a long faucet. So it's super nice. There's mail right here that you can't see. Here we go. It's just tall. It's nice for like deep pots and stuff. Also, I just emptied this box so she could lay in it. Look how cute. Look how cute. Ew. Why are you biting me? It's been a while since I saw you last. It's almost one o'clock. <laughs> I uh, obviously got ready. Also, straight hair Taryn. Who is she? I'm feeling it. Today I'm filming a Kato video, which... What's today? Today's Tuesday. No, I don't think it'll be up yet by the time that you're watching this. I can't tell you how many people all the time comment and tell me to try Kato fashions, which we know I've done several times, but the amount of people that love it, a lot of people that tell me they love it anyways. So I called my local store because the last time I was in there, their fitting rooms rooms weren't open. So I called yesterday and a woman answered and I said, hey, are your fitting rooms open? And she said, not today. And I was like, oh, okay. I said, are they gonna be open tomorrow? And she said, maybe. And I said, oh, okay. She said, depends on if my employees show up. And I was like, oh, or if, or if none of my employees call out. That's what she said. And I was like, okay, thank you. It must've been busy there. She must've been stressed out because she said she was by herself. Uh, working yesterday. So hopefully the fitting rooms are open. If not, I might just be buying some stuff to bring it home. And then, see, I need to go into Rouse's, which the grocery store is next door to Kato Fashions. But at this point, it's one o'clock. I'm hungry for lunch. You know, like you make all these plans in the morning and then do you actually follow through with all of them? I don't know, because here's my thoughts. Go in there, film my video, there's a Chick-fil-A in the same little shopping center. So I might go to Chick-fil-A and then I don't want to eat in my car. Like I want to come home and eat, but then I don't want to go back out to the grocery store. 
you know what? I'm just, I need to do it. I just, I need to do it. I want to do, what comes on the Cobb salad? Oh, uh, the egg, bacon, cheese, lettuce, and then the tomatoes and chicken. Okay, can I do that please with no tomatoes? And instead of the chicken that comes on it, can I do that chilled grilled chicken? Yes, ma'am. Did you actually think I was gonna go to the grocery store? <gasps> nope. No, I wanna go home. I have to use the bathroom and there's no public restrooms. There weren't any public restrooms at Cato Fashions. And instead of just using the grocery store bathroom, I just wanna go home. So I have um, some Chick-fil-A. Welcome to dinner time. It is, what was that? Welcome to dinner time with my eyebrows. It's almost 7.50. Brian's supposed to get off at eight, though I don't think he's going to, but I'm very hungry. So I'm gonna go ahead and start cooking. I'm making the one pan dirty rice. I don't really have a specific recipe I follow, but the one that I found a long time ago that kind of helped me get to this point, I'll link it down below. Uh, so basically we're gonna do ground beef, rice, some Creole seasoning, salt and pepper, some garlic, maybe some broth if we have it. If not, we'll do water and that's it. It's super simple and it cooks, well, for the most part in one pan. I'm gonna eat guinea. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna brown the ground beef. Let's do that. And 20 minutes later, we have this. I did add water a couple of times just so that it didn't stick, but this is what we're having for dinner. Super easy. Hello y'all, happy Wednesday. I'm actually shopping at the Gulfport Outlets. I'm filming my tour video. It goes live on Saturday. And while I'm here, I figured I might as well shop around and see if I can find something for Brian for our anniversary, but also for me, you know? So first stop was Gap. I may actually also walk into this H&M. Um, they had some really cute logo sweatshirts and stuff. Uh, nothing that I felt like I had to have for him. They do have men's shorts for a pretty good price. So I took a picture to send to him um, because he could always use shorts. His are a little bit big at this point. So then I looked at the women's stuff. So they do sell jeans, I asked, up to a size 20 in some styles and they were 50% off. So there were a couple pairs that were really, really cute, boyfriend style, slim, some with distressing, some without. I actually thought about buying them and if they didn't work, selling them. Um, so we may go back in because they were 50% off and that was a good price. While we're here, let's see if H&M sells plus size in store. This is very cute. The summer dress, a whole section of really cute basics. This is an extra, extra large. So that's promising. Hey, excuse me. Do you guys sell plus size in store? We go up to a 2X in tops and an 18 in bottoms, but they're just mixed throughout. Okay, so you heard her. We're back in this front section. I really like these dresses. How much are they? $14.99. Oh, they actually call them basics. How funny. <laughs> okay, I just clarified. When she said extra, extra, or she said 2X, she actually means extra, extra large, so they don't carry plus size in store. Okay, I'm back in the car. I went and did my toured video, so that'll be up on Saturday. They had so much cute stuff. Really, a lot of stuff. Um, I don't really know what I want to get for Brian. And here, I feel like I'm just going to end up getting him clothes. And that's not really what I have in mind, so... I think I'm just going to go. I need to really think about it. Our anniversary is June 11th, by the way. So I need to find gas, head home, and then I'll see you. I think we're going to do spaghetti for dinner tonight. I forgot that y'all watch this tomorrow. So I need to edit you. I managed to go to the grocery store. Remember, was it yesterday, day before? We didn't make it. So I need to let you go so that I can edit this and that you can watch it tomorrow. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It's so bright out here. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and uh, I'll see y'all in my next one. Bye.